planners and welcome back to my channel uh, thank you so much for tuning in welcome back welcome all of my new subscribers uh, it's so nice to have all of you here uh, this is my April plan with me and you'll see me go through the planning stage and then the flip through stage at the end and I hope you really enjoy it here we go Hi planners, so I thought this month I'd change it up and do a quick voiceover for this video. Uh, here we go with the April spread and the cover page for the April spread. Uh, this month's theme is the Cherry Blossom Cocktail, which is a blend of gin, rose and vanilla infused dry vermouth, cherry jam, lemon juice and simple syrup which sounds very lovely and I'm sure that I will be making an extra special effort to try and make this cocktail this month uh, seeing as I haven't been able to really get a hold of the ingredients for the previous cocktails from my previous spreads and uh, it's a little bit disappointing if I'm honest because I really wanted to give them a try but never mind uh, the calligraphy in the cover page here um, I was a little bit disappointed in it because the calligraphy nib that I'm using is a little bit worn and this is one of my newest of all of my calligraphy nibs. Uh, some of the calligraphy nibs that I have don't work very well on smoother pages. They catch, they they either bleed or they, they, they just don't cope very well. And it's not the paper, it's the nib itself because some of them are too sharp and will catch the page. So there you see it quickly jumped, but that's because I had to wait for the ink to dry and it's not the it's not just any calligraphy ink I use liquid acrylic for the calligraphy in my bullet journal because it just gives that a little bit much more a little bit much more that's not even proper English it gives much more of a bolder effect now with the decoration I decided that because I was going to spend some time on it I didn't want to keep repeating it on every single page because that was going to take too long what I did instead was use the Dutch door effect to just do the decoration on the front and the back page, which could be seen from any page that I was on throughout the entire month. And I really enjoyed doing the cherry blossoms on this particular spread. I just I just went I just went for it. The only disappointing thing that I really did was the, the glass for the the cocktail. Not overly happy with it, but it doesn't take away from the entire spread. It's the base of it. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't do very well with the base of it, but I'm not very good at free drawing. I have to admit that I do um, work very, very hard on my drawings for everything. And what I did with the cherry blossoms was I drew one cherry blossom. You'll see the little tracing paper in the corner. I drew one cherry blossom and pretty much repeated exactly the same cherry blossom up and down the page with the tracing paper so although i did freehand draw that particular cherry blossom i just repeated it throughout so i didn't lose how well i'd done it in the first place because i like like everything to be nice and uniform um i'm going in with some uh, watercolor paints uh, which the bullet journal that i'm actually using is the uh notebook therapy uh Suki journal and this one's the Fujisan. Uh, you'll see the, the clip at the end where I actually uh, do my flip through and I'm going through with some watercolours, I'm going through with some colour or metallic paints, uh, just ever so slightly off camera there um, and then I go over all of that uh, with a pigromicron uh, just to have some lovely outlines uh, of each of the cherry blossoms and I've done a very loose effect it's not pre it's not precise and I really enjoyed doing this and it uh, I, I'm really really pleased with the way the whole spread turned out I have to be honest seeing as uh, I, I think my March spread could have gone a little bit better and I hope to I hope to streamline things in uh, all of my future spreads because I am spending quite a bit of time on them at the moment because I have the time. I don't imagine that I will have the time to spend as long on them. And certainly when it comes to filming, I think I would rather be able to film something that wasn't going to take me too long and was still nice and effective. But at the end of the day, the decoration is just a little bit of fun. 
uh, it's just a bit of mindfulness that I do enjoy and the rest of it is just purely as functional as I can possibly get it. So here we are with the the glass and this is the martini glass and the cherry blossoms on the top with the cherries to one side and yes I'm just going over that with the same paint effects yeah I think I rushed this if I'm honest and I do come under a lot of pressure when I'm doing particular doodles like this I think I, I go a bit under pressure when I'm actually on camera filming it and I get a little bit panicky that I'm going to do it wrong and then I rush it and then I do it wrong uh, the whole big thing anyway I finish off the cherry blossoms I can see in my head this is when I'm thinking yeah but let's go with it so I let that dry a little bit and then I go over with my pigment micron just to square off the little menu and then I do my title at the top, my month title at the top. And I use a bigger calligraphy nib to do the title at the top. And then I let that dry. Uh, what I am going to go in with a little bit later is a nice quote on the top of the bottom. But I haven't actually decided what the quote is going to be yet. But when I do decide and I do the calligraphy, I will be filming that and I'll be adding it at the end of this video. So here we go with the larger nib, I changed it and there we go with the title and and then I let that dry because it's so bold and it's so thick it does take quite a while to dry so I have to pause the video to let that dry. So here we go with the habit tracker and I really enjoyed how I laid out the habit tracker for February and March. I really like the tiny calendar uh, and then just highlight the days that I've done a certain habit. Every month I change the habit that I do because what I feel like is if I do a spread so far in advance, so I'm actually recording this voiceover on the 24th of February. Yeah, it's quite soon. It's quite far ahead of April, but I have the time and I wanted to get the video edited uploaded and then scheduled to go live when it when it came round rather than rushing because at the moment I'm furloughed and I have the time however when I'm back at work next week I'm going to have much less time to fit these things in and I think I I wanted to be a month ahead of myself rather than a month behind so when I do these little trackers I like to you know, I, th I think I like to include, I think there's eight or, n did I include eight? No, I did ten. Ten tiny calendars for ten habits. And I will choose which habits I want to track at the beginning of April and then just write them in. So here we go with the, the last of the tiny calendars. I had some intense hand cramp after finishing this last tiny calendar because I like to make sure that m my numbers are so neat when I do these tiny calendars because there's nothing worse than having a little messy tiny calendar. So there I go with the uh, title which I actually put at the bottom rather than the side which I've done before just to change it up a little bit just so it looks a little bit different and I do enjoy writing the word habits. I don't know why I do like writing in calligraphy the word habits. It just looks lovely. So on the right hand side I've done my sleep and coffee tracker in exactly the same way as I've done before. You'll see that I have uh, I track between 5 and 9 hours sleep. Now I never get 9 hours sleep. I barely even get 8 hours sleep. Except maybe at a weekend. Maybe if we don't go to bed super early. Um, but with the coffee... I do have space to track up to five, however I limit myself to one or two coffees a day and if I do happen to track more than that I will try and reduce the amount of coffee that I have the following day. So that's why I do it that way. Uh, you'll see I've done the, I've done a little tiny error there. I wrote in the title on my little tab before doing the paint. <laughs> on it which I was a little bit oh why did I do that but never mind so I'm going to go over 
the tab with the colour that I want the tab to be. And I'm using the metallic colour paints. They're, they're very transparent. They're really beautiful paints. And they dry really beautifully. They've got a go gorgeous sheen to them. I've done my tabs slightly wider than I've done them before. Uh, just again to change it up a little bit. Just to have it a little bit more obvious. The colour roll dried pretty quickly. So I was actually quite pleased that I could just move on. I did highlight the, my titles for my habits. Uh, this is the steps and miles. I have again allowed myself plenty of room to go up to 20,000 steps. Let's just see if I achieve that. I might do a flip through at the end of March. No, the, the end of February and the end of March. I might do actually a quick video flip through and see where what parts of my journal I used and which bits I didn't use so much. Uh, because I'm actually not in my office very much at the moment, I, I'm not tracking as much, I'm not writing down as much. However, if I'm back at work, I do tend to write a lot more because I'm, I'm keeping up to date with everything. And if I sit down from my break or whatever, I'll quickly update my journal. So, I'm writing the numbers in sideways this way. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Uh, so my miles are actually at the bottom. So I think I I went up to, yes, I went up to 18,000. No, not 18,000. I went up to 18,000 steps and 18 miles. That's how much I went up to. So not as far as 20,000 at all. This uh, little doodle I did on the bottom of my to-do list, I really love the way I've done this. It's just a little bottle of gin with a nice colour effect and cherries and some lemons and I really am pleased with how that turned out. It's actually a cute little doodle. I wasn't feeling too much under pressure and I knew where I was going with that so I'm really pleased with that. But this is a very very simple to-do list uh, purely because I like to have a running monthly to-do list rather than having to do it every single day because if I don't get around to doing a job that particular day I'll move it into the next day and then before you know it you're migrating like 10 jobs to the next week and then it gets all over the place and you don't know where you're at and that's not just the daily chores because I include that most of that in habits as well but that's the bigger the bigger jobs I like to put on a to-do list so I've done a monthly to-do list and I've kept it very basic uh, moving on to my next spread which is the calendar and I have kept this extremely simple I wrote my title I wrote the calendar out. I've done an how would you how would you even say a header line above the numbers, highlighted the numbers, done my little doodle at the bottom, and that's it. Because hopefully by April we'll start being able to fill up calendars. Hopefully. I currently have my appointment to get my nails done on the thirteenth of April and I am really hoping that goes ahead because as you can probably see in this video my nails are looking a little bit shocking I don't know if you can tell it's going a little quickly but my nails are shocking they have not been done since just after Christmas Ooh, it's a long time that is a long long time uh, so here we go with the final touches oh yes yeah I made an absolute I was, oh, I was so upset with myself. I knocked my ruler against the wet liquid acrylic that I'd done with the calligraphy of the title page and smudged it. But luckily the gel pen that I have, the white gel pen, was able to cover that over a little bit. So it's not as noticeable now. And even look at it, I'm looking at the page right now and it's not that noticeable at all. So there we go so there's the paintwork for the tab I'm highlighting my numbers my days of the week and then I'm going to go ahead and do that little doodle and this is the view of the glass from the beginning of the spread the view from it from above and here is some lovely cherry blossoms on the top 
I didn't go too over the top with the, the colour. The picture that I had uh, that I was going from was a very, very, very dark red. But I didn't want to go that dark. So I just hinted at the dark colour. And used the colour roll to highlight the cherry blossom. Just to bring that forward a little bit. And I'm really pleased with the way this turned out. So that is the doodle nearly done. Just going over that with the pigment micron again. I wanted to keep the calendar just as simple as possible. I know I have a lot of empty space at the top and usually so usually in the past I really wanted to fill every single inch of my journal but I'm really enjoying some negative space in my journals a lot at the moment. I find that the minimalist look is suiting me well at the moment. So moving from my calendar page, moving on to week one, I have again kept the, the weekly pages very simple. And for that reason, you only see me film one. I just skip through the rest. So what I've done is a tiny calendar in the top. I've highlighted the week that that page is for currently. And I've done a little cherry doodle. And I've done the days, days of the week. And with my calligraphy nib, I used a much, much smaller nib to write these days of the week much smaller nib and I learnt my lesson from the front cover of this particular spread. I learnt from that and used a smaller nib to write the days of the week because I didn't want them to be too big. It also meant that I didn't actually have to wait for them to dry that long. And then must have dried out. So there we go. I waited for it to dry. You can see in that time I went and got myself a cup of matcha tea. And going in with the colour roll paints again to paint the tab. I go with a different shade every time. I don't actually stick with the same shade each time. And I actually quite like that I change it for every single one. Yeah, that's that little cherry. I use the Colour Roll metallic paints to do little highlights on the cherries, which I was actually a little bit pleased with. I didn't use the Pigment Micron to outline this particular one because when I'd finished it, I didn't think it needed it. I think it was just nice and pretty as the way it was. There's the highlights for the cherry in the metallic paint. And then I use the Tombow, same as I have done previously. I use the Tombow to highlight the current week and use the Pig Micron to write the week number on the tab. And I made a, an error when filming that I started these cherry blossoms without pressing record. So I was a little bit good about the whole stage of the whole filming process is actually missing because I forgot to press record. I will learn. You can see me flicking backwards and forwards so the shades aren't too different from each other. So they do look nice and uniform against each other when you're looking at the spread as one. Uh, because in a moment I'll be cutting away the Dutch doors. And for the final page of the whole spread... I didn't waste the the space and I used that to create a to-do list. But the error that I made here is I didn't allow for the tabs. So when I wrote in my title, I ended up cutting that away. And you'll see me correcting that in a mere moment. Uh, because I did this calligraphy beautifully and then really pleased with it. And then by the time I got to the end, I had cut it away. <laughs> But you learn from your mistakes, don't you? You really do. So there, I'm cutting away the page for the cover. And then I'm cutting away the page 
for the tracker, uh, taking the, the tab out. It is delicate work to not make a mistake here because once I painted over with the colour roll it was very hard to see my pencil lines but I just about I didn't make a mistake this time that's good I did some of it by hand and some of it with a ruler I realised that when I did it by hand I did the wrong angle but I went ahead and used the ruler the next time I think I think I did anyway this is my favourite part of doing a Dutch door spread is when you've finished the whole thing and then you cut away the Dutch door and then the whole spread just comes together. I like the little, I've cut away the little leaf there. So you'll see the other weeks that I've actually finished in between. I had done the week two in a slightly different layout and I didn't care for it in the end. Uh, so I I used the spread layout from week one for week three and week four. So I think, is that week four? I'm starting week four now, so that's nearly come to the end. So there we go, I turn over the page, I did a quick flick through, turned over the page, pointed at it, <laughs> and I realised what I'd done. So you see me correct that, I I drew my line, I went in with my white gel pen again, and I just get my calligraphy nib back out and I, re I rewrite the title, that's all I did. So there you have it, that is everything that I did for my April spread and I hope you enjoyed that. Hello there and welcome back. I really hope you enjoyed all of that and here is my final flip through of my April spread. So here we have the the cover and I really enjoyed doing the, the blossom pages down the side where it did mean that because I do the tabs, it does mean that I didn't have to repeat the blossom stage, or the blossom stage, what am I talking about? Uh, the blossom design on either side. Uh, it does mean that when you flip to every single page, you can see the same design showing through and I really enjoyed doing that. I have since added in my quote, which is, uh, oh, can't get myself straight there. Flowers grow out of dark places, uh, Krita Kent. So I really like that quote. Again, I've used the uh, liquid acrylic for the calligraphy um, and I found a new nib. Wasn't very pleased with the way my nibs were going. So I've got a few new ones, but I'm still getting used to them. Very much still learning how to do calligraphy. I'm still not very good at it. It, it looks like I get away with it basically but I don't think I have very good form it would be nice to improve on my form when it comes to the calligraphy added some washi tape to the top and then we have the the recipe for the cocktail I think I went through that in the video didn't I so I don't need to go through that again okay so there we have habits um, again every single month I'll change out which habits I want to record based on how I'm feeling at the time, which ones I used in the previous month, which ones I didn't use in the previous month. Uh, so if I didn't use one, I'd just take it out and don't use it. But I've got 10 here. So I'll track 10 habits and see how we go. Uh, sleep and coffee. Again, try to limit my coffee, uh, my caffeine intake, just to improve on sleep. And then steps and miles. I've gone all the way up to 18,000 again. Um, I do have days where I do a large amount of steps so I'm going to keep keep going with that I'm not running as much now I'm back to work but we'll see how that goes well hopefully when we come out of lockdown we'll be able to start going for long walks again so that would be nice a to-do list a general to-do list just 
blank page. I don't like to keep it too formatted. I like the blank page. I did like the little doodle I'd done down the bottom there with the little bottle and the cherries and the lemon. Did enjoy that. And then we've got activity. That, that's basically class of activity. And then the calendar. Um, we've got just a simple basic calendar. And then... My weeklies, I've kept as simple as possible, just I have found that in the March plan that I did, I did the Dutch door uh, to allow myself to extra space for to-do lists, but then I found that I'm really not using them as much as I thought I would, and I've got an awful lot of empty space. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but I have got an awful lot of empty space because I'm, I'm back at work and I'm just not doing as much in the house, so I'm not using the to-do list as much. So there we have the days of the week. I did change it up and put the tiny calendar down the bottom, but I didn't like it. So for week three and week four, it's exactly the same. Just added some washi tape in just to fill up some empty space. And then the final page is the just a brain dump page, notes and ideas I've written down there. And you'll see in the video that I did make a mistake with the sizing of that and didn't account for the tab. Uh, but <laughs> I did fix that quite quickly, um, but I did make myself laugh when I did that, but that's it, that's my April journal, and I've really enjoyed doing this one, and I have also added in a quote page, just inside here, just to do some calligraphy practice, and that was a really the only reason why I've just slotted this in here, because I haven't really done a quote between each month, uh, up to this point but I did like this quote and I did like doing the leaves and it was just a bit of a, a mindfulness exercise and I did enjoy doing that. I've made a mistake on the E but it's just good calligraphy practice and there we have May is ready to record. I'm just looking for a day where I'm going to have the time and the space to be able to do it hopefully very soon uh, but that is everything. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, please comment. It's it's really good to hear from people that they've give, got some good feedback uh, for my spreads and my ideas. And I'm, I'm bowled over with the, the nice comments. Uh, any, any comment that you've got about my style of videos or anything like that, then please do comment. Uh, I'm all for constructive criticism. <laughs> And I have taken some on board already. Some people like the the slower version of the videos. So I have, I'm going to account for that. I'm going to plan each video to have the, the bit in the middle where I speed everything up. I'm going to have it not as quick. So you, it can be followed a little bit better. Um, I think it was my sister that said that she didn't like when my hands went like that. And I don't know what, I'm still trying to figure out what to do with my hands. Um, so it, it's been a lovely response and I'm, I'm so, so surprised how much just the March video grew between starting these videos back in November to, to now. Um, I'm utterly surprised and it's, it's lovely, but I, it's slow, slow progress, but it's progress. But thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, uh, please do hit the thumbs up please like the video, please comment, please consider subscribing and I will be consistently uploading at least one video a month. Uh, hopefully we'll grow to more than that eventually. Uh, but again, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you're having a good day and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.